Hello everyone! In this After Effects tutorial, we will create templates that give users control over time itself. We're going to use a little expression, or a family of expressions, to give control over the timing of elements in a template. Elements such as when an animation starts, or when it stops. Kind of like in this example that you're looking at now. While each of these block quotes is the same template, I'm able to adjust how long it takes to animate the text on, how long that text hangs around, and then how long it takes for that box to move along. I'm Evan Abrams, and this is Time Controls in Templates in Adobe After Effects. This tutorial is really only going to touch on the retiming of things, so any of this boxes resizing to text stuff, that's a different tutorial. We've already talked about that on this channel. Let's just retime the things. So we're going to make a new composition so you can start from scratch and follow along, and let's call this the example. And if you go to evanabrams.com, then you can pick up whatever we make here in this example as the tutorial project file. And since we're working with templates, we want to go Window Essential Graphics, open up this Essential Graphics panel and you want to change your master to the example. So we're dealing with the example. We have no properties in here. Let's uh, make some. Let's make a new text layer. Let's just type out, I don't know, Evan Abrams is cool exclamation point. This will be a little aphorism for me so that I can feel good during the tutorial. Really improves my confidence. So if we want people to edit this in a template, we would just twirl in here, twirl into the text, grab the source text and put it up there. So dragging it up and we'd rename it something like, I don't know, the presenter name or presenter title or whatever this has to be. So a user can understand what it is and then they could change to like is not cool and they totally suck for doing that. But as you can see, anything you change up here updates the values of the layer. And I want to animate this on. I want this to animate on in some way. So if you wanted to do that using keyframes, you would probably just animate you know, this little button here and then you'd add the opacity and you'd probably dial the opacity down to zero and then have the start here animate from zero all the way up to, I don't know, let's say 100. So it goes from zero to 100, it comes all the way on. But we want to let people in the essential graphics say, oh, I don't want it to go two seconds, I want it to be one second or three seconds. They can't really move a keyframe. So what we need to do is make this based not on keyframes, but on expressions that can take some inputs from a couple slider controls. So let me just clear this out, set this back to zero, and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new adjustment layer, and we're gonna call this the controls. On the controls, I'm gonna add a slider control. That's an effect that you can call up. You can just grab your slider control, drag it out there, twirl into effects, twirl into slider control, it says slider. Let's call this the uh, text on speed. And the text on speed, let's say it does take two seconds. So we're just gonna set this to two. So for two seconds, it takes to animate this thing all the way on. In the text here, that means we need to go into the animator one, into range selector one, hold down alt, and click on the start, because that's the thing we want to change. So I'm just gonna expand this down, bring this window up a little bit, try to zoom in in post so you can really enjoy what I'm typing. I'm gonna type in some variables. I'm gonna say t equals, and t equals time minus in point. Now, why am I typing this out first? Well, what I want to have happen is to reference the time. So if I wanna talk about this takes two seconds, I need to access the time. So we got time, and minus the in point so that the time is always relative to the start of the layer. And I'm doing this in case I move the layer over here or over there. We know that it's gonna start animating on from the beginning of the layer. And if we say take two seconds, it'll take two seconds from the start of the layer to animate on. So the next thing is gonna be D, D for duration, for how long it takes for this to actually happen. And D will be equal to, and then I use the pick whip, and then I go up here to slider. So we know that value is two. We can just go over there and read it, but we say D equals that. Now, what's the thing that makes this happen? Here's where the rubber hits the road, and we type in linear, and linear is an interpolation expression. Basically, linear allows us to remap one set of values to another. It's very similar to the ease expression, or the ease in, or the ease out. These are just methods of remapping values to other values. So we put our parentheses, and then we type in t, because we're gonna be referencing t 
as the thing that we're remapping. That's the input. So linear, have a look at variable t, and you take the values that it gives you from 0 and from 0 until d. So please remap the values from 0 to d and remap those, remap those to the values 0, 100. And I hit return, and if that works, as you can see, oh, it is working. Evan is not cool, comes on, and it only takes two seconds to do that. And then we can just drag the slider right up here, and say this is the uh, text on speed, and now someone can come and edit this. If they open your template in Premiere, they can change this to two or 10 or one or no seconds, whatever they want. You can edit the range here to kind of clamp down, have the slider range go from zero to 100 or zero to 10, really clamp down what they could possibly input here, make it a little bit easier, make it a little bit more controlled so they don't break what you've made. What if we want to make the text go away? We want to just change its position, you animate on, and then maybe at 10 seconds, get out of here. We don't want you on screen anymore. You can just leave. Well, we can do that by selecting the layer here and calling up its position, because that's what we want to change. I'm just going to hold down Alt and click on here. We're going to type in a nice expression right in here. And if we're going to use something to control it, we should give a new control here in the controls. So I'm going to duplicate text on speed, and we're going to create, uh, let's say, text off speed. So this is the speed that it takes to leave, and maybe the text off speed is going to be like 0.2. All right, and I'll duplicate this again, and I'll just rename this to be text gone. So this is when the text is gone. Uh, it should be all gone by, I don't know, 10 seconds maybe? That seems good to me. So these are our controls. We have the text off speed and the when the text is gone. So let's bring those into the expression. You know, the out, like the out point is going to equal, you know, whenever the text is gone. So it's going to be 10. And then the other thing is going to be the duration. So how long this takes. So dir perhaps, or we call it speed or call it whatever you want. We're just going to link it there. And now we know the output is going to be x comma y. So it's going to be x comma y. The y, I think we can leave as, you know, 540. It can just stay 540, or we can just say remain as your value, you know, the value that you are. y equals value 1. Uh, the 960 is part 0. This is part 1. So we're looking at y equals value 1. But x, x is going to equal something else. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I think it's going to equal value plus, and then plus something to make this go away. If we keep increasing the number, this will just move off the side of the screen. So x plus, let's go ease in. We already used the linear, so let's get the ease in going. And then in parentheses, why don't we look at time? So it's going to reference time when the time is at out minus duration. So when it's at the out point minus how long it takes to get there. So we've got our starting value. The ending value is just going to be the out time. Then we're going to do a comma again and say, all right, we're going to go from zero to, I don't know, maybe just add another 960 to this. Now we'll make sure we have a semicolon at the end. Hit return. Oh, and we have a we have an angry part here. So let's see. I think it's that we need to go value and square bracket zero. That's the problem. What this is saying is once we reach 10, this is going to be all the way gone. So, oh, well, hasn't gone all the way, so we need to kind of adjust this up. Let's amp this up to add 1920 to it, I guess. So now it's all the way off screen. At 10 seconds, you know, it's going to be all the way over there. And at 10 minus the duration, it's still there. So now you can see we've controlled animating on. Blah, blah, very slow. And then we hang out for a while, and then it goes. And then you just drag these, you know, text gone. And you say, I don't know, text text off time. And then, you know, the text off speed, you could drag that up here and say text. And now a user can edit these whenever they want. And to prove it to you, I'm going to create a new composition. You know, this is comp one, whatever. We just drag that example down here and we twirl it open, twirl open the master properties, and you can see we can edit all of these master properties as much as we'd like. So we can change the speed to be, only comes on in one second, really quick. Comes on super quick. And then, you know, make it go away at four seconds. I don't want to see it past four seconds. Well, that's true. And then we can change the speed here to say, I don't know, 0.1, go really quick. Zoom, just rockets out of there. And of course, you can change the presenter's name or whatever. Just edit that value to say, 
I don't know, someone else who is better at this. You know, that's perfectly normal to do. And that's uh, all there is to it. So now you can make templates where your users can control time. How great is that? Uh, if you had trouble with this, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get you through it as best I can. If you've enjoyed watching this, if you like learning about After Effects and expressions and templates, subscribe to the EC Abrams channel. You'll love it. We try to get tutorials out here um, maybe once a week. Sometimes I get busy, I don't know. And if you really got stuck on this, head on over to evanabrams.com and pick up the project file for this. Links in the description, links in the cards. Uh, if you have suggestions for other tutorials, hit me up on Twitter at uh, EC Abrams on there, or just let me know in the comments, we'll make that happen. But like I said, if you enjoy this, if you like learning new things about After Effects motion design, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you around the internet. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.